Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and I can't wait for you guys to join me today with this deep clean of my kitchen. I'm gonna be taking out the drawers of my refrigerator, scrubbing things down, wiping off the countertops and cabinets, and some other things that I don't necessarily do on a daily basis when I'm cleaning my kitchen. So if you're new, make sure to click the subscribe button and I hope you enjoy this video and clean along with me. So let's go. Now that I've started the dishwasher, I'm gonna get up on my countertops and clean all of my cabinets. So I don't mind standing on my countertops because when I clean, I clean from top to bottom. So I'm just gonna end up cleaning the countertops off next. Cleaning off the cabinets is definitely more of a deep cleaning task for me because it's not something that I do on a weekly and for sure not a daily basis. It's what you do making me feel like I'm falling. While I'm cleaning, you'll see that I'm going to use a variety of different microfiber cloths. If possible, I really like to try to use a microfiber cloth that matches the color of my cleaner so I remember which product it's used for. So for now, I'm still using this green microfiber cloth with my green wood cleaner. When I move to the next task, I'll make sure to switch the microfiber cloth because it's probably cleaning a different surface. I don't know if you can see all of the crumbs and the coffee stains from my Keurig, but I do not move everything off of my countertop often enough, especially the toaster oven and the Keurig. So I'm really glad that I'm moving everything away and cleaning off all of the crumbs and stains. While I was cleaning off the countertops, I put in the microwave a bowl of water and essential oils and started the microwave just to kind of get some steam going to make the cleaning process a little bit easier. I'm not a fan of glass cooktops and I've tried a bunch of different things to really try and get them as clean as I can, including using a little razor blade, soft scrub, my scrub daddy sponge actually works pretty well, but this Scotch-Brite cleaning wand I've found to really do the trick.
my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep I like to keep a little bit of decor in my kitchen. I spend a ton of time in there because I love to cook so much, but having some decor makes it really feel a little bit homier and it's something fun for me to change out with every season. This little wood easel is where I keep all of my weekly meal plans and I love that it has the different conversion rates and measurements and the best part is I found it in the Target dollar spot so it was only $3. On to cleaning out my refrigerator, and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna start by going through the refrigerator door and all of the different condiments I have and making sure that nothing's expired and everything that I'm keeping is something that I use and actually cook with. Then I'm gonna take out all of the drawers and everything that I can remove from the refrigerator and scrub it down. like this that I really wish I had a big large farm sink instead of one of these sinks that's divided. It does help to have a divided sink when you want to plug one half and do some dishes, but whenever I have any large baking sheets or jobs like this, I honestly don't know what to do and basically have to scrub everything on my countertop. <laughs> Only 
don't have a ton in my refrigerator right now, but that makes for perfect timing to do a deep clean. That way there's not as much to pull out. And even without a bunch of stuff, you can tell that I like to have my refrigerator as organized as possible, especially with the produce. I like to throw away any of those plastic baggies that you may get at the grocery store and put produce into divided bins. sink with a homemade sink scrub and I will leave a recipe to my favorite sink scrub in the description box below but it's basically just a mix of baking soda and essential oils. I just sprinkle it throughout the sink basin, add a couple of drops of dish soap and some water and scrub away. Then rinse it all away with some water. And especially with a stainless steel sink you'll see how well it really shines. I'm like a golden crown, world and high up in the sky, oh. It's the way you make me feel so good, feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good, I'm giving my kitchen island countertops a wipe down and I can hear that the dishwasher is done, so I'm gonna go empty that next. So wrap your arms around me like a borderline. Our fortress in the jungle, baby, we are right. We don't care much for people like them We don't care much for people like them But I lay on my mind I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown I hope you enjoyed cleaning my kitchen with me today. I am absolutely exhausted and starving, so I've already pulled out some lunch and I'm about to go messy the kitchen that I just cleaned. So if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.